the king of hearts in the budget segment is back with its next offering. This is the Redmi Note 7 Pro that seems to promise the world in its sleek body and with a light tag of 13,999 rupees. But with the battle really heating up in the under 15k segment, can Xiaomi have its cake and eat it too this time? And how does Xiaomi really view its competition in the segment? I mean, competition is not new, and you know, healthy competition is always good. Uh, we appreciate a lot of other brands trying to push the envelope from their side. In Xiaomi, again, our focus stays on Mi fans. Uh, we are not looking at competition to decide what phones we should have, but we always want to raise the bar. Xiaomi has worked long and hard on the design and really perfected it. The Redmi Note 7 Pro is gorgeous. We got the 4GB RAM, Space Black variant for review and loved the in-hand feel and the glossy back. Yes, it does attract some smudges, but it is a premium looking phone. After all, it does not have a plastic finish like some of its competition in the segment, but in fact has Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back. This does give it quite an edge over its competitors. The only thing we wish Xiaomi had kept in mind is the protruding dual rear camera that seems to stick out quite a bit and which may leave the lens susceptible to scratches. Going beyond the looks, the screen is a large 6.3-inch Full HD Plus dot-notch display. The dot-notch is not really distracting while viewing videos and there is even an option to hide the notch in the settings. It is not a traditional LCD display. It has an LTPS panel which gives it a good colour reproduction and the display is pretty OK. Under the hood, the Redmi Note 7 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 675 processor which till now has only been seen in some smartphones above 25K. It is good and multitasking is a breeze on this phone. The Redmi Note 7 Pro rides high on more than one strength. There is 4000 mAh battery on board which will last one and a half days of use without charge. There is a 64 GB and a 128 GB storage variant and there is a hybrid dual SIM slot along with a micro SD card slot for additional storage. Coming to the brass tags, Xiaomi has aggressively priced this beauty at 13,999 rupees for the 4 GB RAM variant. The phone runs on the Android 9 Pie with MIUI 10. There's a dual rear camera with a 12 and 5 megapixel sensor. Yes, this phone does have a 48 megapixel lens which actually has to be turned on in the settings. The default is set to 12 megapixel. There's a Sony IMX586 sensor which is really impressive for a phone in this price bracket. The images we took were sharp and the 48 megapixel lens when turned on did capture some details but the colors were slightly saturated. The night mode did an average job with night shots, with some of the images turning on slightly grainy. There's 4K video recording in this phone which worked very well and it can be considered to be one of the best video cameras in this price range on a phone. The dot notch houses a 13 megapixel front camera with AI portrait mode which does blur the background and does a good job with selfies. There is face unlock option and a fingerprint scanner which worked as promised. The Cell Guru Addict the shiny, glossy Redmi Note 7 Pro is as dazzling on the outside as it is on the inside. Xiaomi manages to grab the lion's share in the price segment with an excellent Qualcomm Snapdragon processor and with advanced optics. There's nothing that might be a deal breaker and so it makes for a compelling choice at 13,999 rupees.